Well, I started working on putting the MFC in here, um, hooking up channels and stuff. Hooked up uh, the motor. I don't know if those connections are connecting right. They feel real flimsy, and I haven't plugged it in yet. Uh, I went through everything. I did the unboxing video there, and uh, I decided that I will use a set of steps, chrome steps too. Bling bling, mofo. I uh, plan on putting them underneath on this side here. Leave so it out of the way. I got the parts to attach it with. I just gotta put it in, but you know, I'm gonna put it probably about there or something like that. And to find all these wires, they got three sets of leads, and you know, three different sizes of wires and stuff, and they all connect to the same board. Why they couldn't, you know, just use the one big ribbon cable or something like that and got her done with to begin with. I don't know. Maybe there's something different between trucks. So I was figuring out the steps. It's for the night hauler, but whatever. It can it can become part of the globe family. And then here's how you put it together in the globe. They want you to put that box thing in the back and on top of the battery and have to open the door to use it every time and yeah, no thanks. They want I have standoffs here so it sits above there. I got oh the vibration unit on this side and I don't know what's on this side. I think it wants me to use the radio receiver. But mine is tiny. Um, vibration unit goes there. Your lights go on the roof. Uh, your signal lights, which are here, go on the side there. There's where your headlights are. Goes into that. They're not combined, you don't like the Mercedes. Here's the front, the fog light gets an LED too. That's how you do your roof lights, which means I gotta take those buggers apart. They're just screwed in there though, the little screw holds them. The lenses are glued to the so the chrome part though. And they gotta take the back bumper off again to do that. But first, I wanna get this plugged in, and I wanna get the speaker plugged in, and I wanna see if this thing roars to life. Alright, it's rough, but I got her. shifter hmm. not quite getting the other channels going for some reason might have to get the programmer cord on and change this this forward. So that's not right. I'm not sure how you're supposed to change the light. How's it linker? shake and shut off and everything so uh, it's gonna be a bit more uh, figuring out what's going on with the thing but uh, 
and changing the channel around apparently so see how that goes all right even more of an update for you guys turn that down a bit oh that's already on haha <laughs> the vibration unit in here. It's just a shaking. So pretty awesome. I got that in there. I got the, this is still just sitting here and everything like that. Oh, uh, one thing I didn't show you. Might need a screwdriver to help me with this. set up for the fifth wheel hitch there. I think that's pretty neat. <laughs> Had to run this wire, you have to change this out. This is still the same. Bunch of little details. But anyhow. There she be. I think and that's all I'm gonna get done for today. Um, the next step is to really get into uh, wiring up all the lights in the truck and stuff. But going through this bag of lights and LEDs, I had to go through this bag and find these ones for just to connect the um, connect this into there. Yeah, that's in the shot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, these are the leads for the motor, power leads. So this lead, that other twisted pair, and another twisted pair over here all went into that thing. Uh, this is the speaker wire, this blue one here says J29 vibration unit, maybe I should be labeling these, I don't know, I think it might add to clutter at the end, but, because once this is together, it's together, I don't really plan on changing it, but you never know, I gotta find out where this can sit, probably gonna have to sit between the seats right here. Because you still got the dash and stuff in the truck to put in there from the cab, so I just gotta make sure not everything's too close or anything like that. And uh, have to tape this down or something like that, or maybe put the MFU on the back of this with some double-sided tape. Who knows? There's a bunch more speaker options. Uh, there's other for remote for putting, you know, different things in different places. So I got an extra fifth wheel pad now. I got a Got the old fifth wheel. There is a difference between these two, and it's mostly underneath here. On uh, this one here, because it has a wire, there's another section here with a sliding part underneath in here, and then that's how it tells if there's something sitting in this part or not. It's uh, quite complicated. <laughs> Put that in my other box of stuff. Um, to mount the vibration unit, I did have to get out the old. Um, Dremel again to mount the drill holes through there. It says to drill holes to mount it down and it just gives you a um, rough idea in the in the manual. It just says here like here to put the vibration unit and uh, it says attach the MFC01 using the shock absorbing tape which would be these foam guys back there and then uh, I'm trying to think of where it was here. The controller unit you attach onto the inside of body unit using double-sided tape. Well, nope, I'm mounting that thing up. Um, maybe it was in the building part for the vibration unit. I'm thinking that's where it is. See, like they want the MFC sitting on top of the vibration unit. No. Yeah, right here, I think. Yeah, right here, mechanism deck. Uh, use proper screws and nuts. Make holes, makes holes if needed. 
So, um, it needed holes, so it got mounted. So now getting towards the end of the day, I gotta clean all this up. So one more start and stop, just to say I can do it. 